your first alert forecast with meteorologist Corey Thompson. Ample amounts of rainfall have been falling across eastern Iowa so far today. Here's some observations of rainfall over the last 24 hours. That includes a total at the Waterloo Airport, nearly two inches of rain. Charles City, an inch and a quarter. Old Line, about an inch and a quarter, too. Cedar Rapids going to cross that one inch mark. Less and less to the south, though. Mount Pleasant missing that report, but Oskaloosa only checking in with 16 one hundredths. Now, some people have asked, what's that going to do to our area of rivers? Well, here's a view of our gauge at Vinton, which did reach its crest earlier today and has started to fall but it will now dip down and then have a secondary crest. Not as high, at least as it appears at this point, but it will prolong high water levels across our tributary rivers here in eastern Iowa. As far as its effect on the Mississippi, that will probably be a little bit less, but those rivers continue to rise too. Get all the latest river information, kcrg.com slash river levels. Your first alert for today, yellow in rainstorms and wind. We're seeing some breezy conditions as well as the chance for showers and storms. Sticks with us and after they wind down a little bit this morning, they will return at least as a threat later today. Now the most vigorous storm activity is south of Interstate 80 at this point. Still some good steady rain here north of that mark, but notice how the back edge is making a little bit more progress than it has so far this morning. Really started here this morning in the morning show. It's only made it this far, but the march forward is starting to take place a little bit more progressively. Here in the south, you see scattered showers, a little bit of heavier rain down toward the Washington area. To the north is where things have dried more. Dubuque still seeing the rain, but Waterloo, Waverly up toward Charles City now catching a break. View from our Manchester City cam, though, is of a very wet picture in that city at this point. Temperatures in the 60s, dew points also in the 60s. They have been creeping upward. Out in western Iowa, dew points are in the 70s, so there is plenty of moisture around to contribute to more rain as we go forward. Temperatures today on your first alert forecast, though, 74 in Manchester, 79 in Washington, warmer to the south and west. So there is the potential that a little bit of clearing develops in those areas, too, and that would lead to uh, the temperatures warming a little bit more substantially. We'll see that as we go through the afternoon for some gaps in the clouds to form. We've seen them in western Iowa, and as that happens, we could see some storms develop in those gaps and fill in some of that space. And some of those storms later this afternoon into the evening and into the nighttime hours could be strong to severe. It's a little tough to pinpoint exact timings on these because they will be popping up at different times, but the threat stays with us even through the early overnight hours. See 2 o'clock, the cold front, which is going to be located right here, only makes that much progress, but it does start to move, and we'll see out of here by tomorrow morning, expecting a drier start to the day on Saturday. Slight risk for severe weather for the area here shaded in yellow. Damage and wind, isolated large hail, isolated tornado not ruled out as we go through the afternoon, evening, early to overnight hours. So your first alert to what could be a stormy finish to the day. We do want you to stay weather aware during that time and stick with us for any updates. Also the KCRG TV9 first alert weather app as a good resource for alerts in addition to the other tools in your toolbox for receiving those. Nice weather for the weekend, though. That's the highlight. 80s on Saturday, 70s on Sunday, with more warmth next week. You just have to get through the storms today before the nice weather. Yeah, that's about it. It seems like that's usually how it works this time. Right. Exactly. All right, thanks, Corey. Yep.